worry. This whole year, it feels like my friend Millie has done wrong things and gotten away with it. Millie's made fun of people, she's cheated, and it feels like she still gets everything she wants. Last week, when a movie started filming in our town and they wanted a couple people to be actors, who do you think got one of the parts? Millie. She won again! But this week, I've decided I will win! You hear that, world? Brie Bacaliri is a winner! Oh, uh, those are for the Cavalier Saga actors and movie people. Of course. I can't believe they're shooting scenes from the movie right across from the cafe and I'm stuck watching through the window. I'm sorry, Brie. I know that you wanted to be a part of it. I did. But I'm over it. Doesn't sound like you're over it. Well, I am. I've moved on to bigger things. So, you're running for president. What? No. I realized that since Millie is super busy with the movie, she won't be able to run for Arcadia Student of the Year. They already chose a Student of the Year. Last year. Y yeah, it's kind of an annual thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Millie has won Student of the Year three years in a row, but this year, this year is my year. Hey, take a look at those three posters and tell me which one is the best one. Don't get teary, choose Bacaliri. It rhymes. Mm -hmm. This one is just a list. Yeah, a list of other reasons why I'm great. <laughs> she's drum major. She's the manager at the Comics Cafe. She's double jointed. Just a few of my many skills. This one just kind of feels like bragging. Well, Millie brags all the time and she always wins. Voting for Millie? Don't be silly. Choose Brie R. Bacaliri as Student of the Year. Isn't it great? I'm definitely going to win Student of the Year. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Millie, what are you doing here? Oh, just being a movie star, which is obviously more than you're doing. Oh, I just filmed so much today. I'm just exhausted. Yeah, we've been watching you through the window. It, it looks super cool. Yeah, we have. Well, you should keep watching. Maybe you could learn something, Brie. Acting is a tough job, you know. But eventually, like me, you'll learn to be ready for anything. Even the unexpected. What is this? An orange. A Florida orange. I only eat Arizona oranges. Are you serious? Of course. I can't eat this. And if I fall down out there out of starvation, you should know that it's all your fault. Oh, and Brie? I'm still gonna win Student of the Year, but maybe there's another award for you. The... She had the best attitude, but always got second place. It's kinda catchy. But always got second place. I will win Student of the Year. I have to. Whatever it takes. Uh, did you get the oranges? What? No. I deserve to be student of the year. I'm the most popular! Student of the year? There's no way that you have time to run for that. I never knew that having such small roles in a movie would take up so much time. Small roles? We have huge, big, important roles. We have like three lines. Each. Him. I have four. Can I get some help over here? Yeah, I can help. I know what I can do. I know exactly what I'll do. I can win everything to all my followers. Millie needs your help. Hello, I'm calling to ask you to consider voting for Brie Bacaliri for Arcadia Student of the Year. Uh-huh. Hello. Hello. I'm calling to ask you to consider voting for Brie... And they hang up. Hello. Brie Bacaliri's campaign office. Mom? <laughs> yeah, I'll be home in time for dinner. Thanks. I just have to keep trying. I'll call every student in our high school if I have to. 
30 calls down, only 1,211 to go. Hello? You've reached Bree Boccalieri's campaign office. Bree. Oh, Nathan. <laughs> Have you been on Snip Snap today? No, I've been really busy. Millie's up to something. I really think you're gonna wanna see it. Mason. Just come over to the cafe. I'll tell you all about it. Mason. Oh, man, you got here really fast. Take a look at this. To all my followers, Millie needs your help. Our school is presenting a student of the year award to the person who gets the most votes. You know what to do, winky face. It's got 3,000 likes. There aren't even 3,000 people in our school. And only people from our school are supposed to vote. I don't think Millie really cares about those rules. <sighs> oh. What? Uh, nothing. What's that video? This is what Brie Bacaliri thinks Arcadia High School should look like. The art room destroyed. More homework for everyone. Spinach for lunch every day. There are so many reasons to vote for Millie Van Pelt for Student of the Year. This ad has been paid for by the MVP, the Millie Van Pelt Association. Uh, she's lying. None of that stuff is true. I guess Millie will do anything to win. All year. All the right things, and Millie has done all the wrong things, and yet she always wins. Hey, she doesn't always win. Did you hear what the director said about me? Um, good job? Yeah, she's noticed how good of a job I'm doing. You know, I bet she wants me to have a bigger part. She's probably prepping me to take over for that girl who keeps forgetting her lines. The lead actress? Oh yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Millie? Oh, hi, Brie. You lied about me! You told everyone I wanted them to eat spinach oh, and Oh, Brie, don't ever... take that so personally. That's just business. The business of winning. You can almost taste the lime. I... I don't understand... What? what? Oh, sorry. My fans are calling. I'll have to go. But you can watch me later at the Student of the Year Award ceremony. <gasps> Uh, uh, is right. Ugh. Acting with Millie makes me feel like I'm back on my Kai. I have to get back at her. Ooh, I'll, I'll make up a lie about her. One that will make people not vote for her. Like, like, oh, she hates puppies. Or, ooh, I know, I could have Taylor make a bunch of robots and then have them vote for me. Are you sure that those are the right things to do? Why do I have to do what's right? I mean, Millie's been lying and cheating, so why can't I? I'll make a new poster. Okay, Millie Van Pelt wants to get rid of mac and cheese for lunch <gasps> and pizza. Uh, <sighs> Bree, I'm not sure it's a good idea to lie about Millie too. You remember how Mr. K told us about God's armor? Maybe there's something in there that can help. That's all stuff like doing what's right. Why should I even think about doing what's right? Why don't you find out? Taylor said she programmed it to put you right into Bible stories. Maybe there's one about doing what's right. Fine. I'll try. Whoa. This is beautiful. I can see the ocean from here. Where am I? You're on the island of Crete in the year 62. Wow. Where's Crete? We're part of Greece, in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. Cool. Cool. Um, and, and who are you? I'm Titus. I'm good friends with Paul. Paul? Paul, the, the guy who wrote a bunch of the letters for the Bible. That's him. In fact, he's the reason I'm here on this island. He sent me here to uh, help. Well, what's the problem? Well, the people of Crete recently have been uh, terrible. You see, ever since they were kids, they've been raised to think that doing what's wrong is normal. They don't want to work. They'd rather steal things. <laughs> Find us keepers, eh, Manny? <laughs> Let's go. They think lying is normal. I am the greatest athlete in the world. No one is stronger or faster than me. <gasps> oh. They are okay with cheating. What's that over there? Hmm. 
so everyone here lives like that. Stealing, cheating, and lying. Not everyone, but most people. That's why Paul sent me. I'm supposed to find people in the church who are responsible, who do what's right. I'm supposed to teach them to be leaders. But isn't everyone here basically doing what's wrong? Why should anyone even try to do what's right? That's exactly how the people of Crete feel, but take a look at this. It's a bunch of broken pieces. Could you fix this broken thing? <laughs> um, I don't think so. Why not? I, I don't know what it is. You have to show me what it's supposed to look like. That's how the people of Crete are living right now. The way they're living is broken and they don't know how to fix it. And that's because they've never seen anyone live the way God made them to. I think that's why Paul wrote in his letter to me, God's grace teaches us to say no to godless ways and sinful desires. We must control ourselves. We must do what is right. We must lead godly lives in today's world. So what can we do? Well, doing what God says is wrong just breaks things more and more, but living the way God made us to helps us put the pieces back together. I need to show people that instead of stealing, we were made to give. Instead of lying, we were made to tell the truth. And instead of cheating, we were made to be faithful and fair. And when people see what all these broken pieces are supposed to look like, suddenly it's clear. That's who God made us to be. And doing what's right protects us. Protects us? Hurting others, cheating and lying, those things hurt both us and the people around us. But doing what's right protects us from that and helps us to be who God made us to be. I, I, um, I get it. Thanks, Titus. Anytime. Okay. I get what Titus was saying. And I should do what's right, but if I don't cheat like Millie's doing, I'll lose. But that would only break things, right? I need to do what's right. Oh, but how? I still wanted to win, but not by cheating. I wanted to win fair and square. I didn't make any posters lying about Millie. I thought a lot more about Titus's story. I didn't want to live like that clay pot, all broken. I wanted to be who God made me to be. So I did my best to do what was right. I was kind when the movie people came into the cafe, even Millie. Finally, it was the day of the award ceremony. Okay, they're about to announce the student of the year. Are you ready, Brie? Totally. Um, even if I don't win, I know I'll be okay. Thank you all. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad and my little sister Evelyn who are all here tonight. Without all of you here, none of this would have been possible. Um, you wrote a speech? <laughs> of course. I totally understand why you didn't, though. Millie! Um, it's super cool that your whole family's here to support you. I, I bet Evelyn's super proud. Of course she is. She even introduced me to her whole kindergarten class for show and tell. Her superstar big sister. That's really sweet. And now, the biggest award of the night. Arcadia High, it's time to introduce your student of the year. This year, the award goes That's to... That's my cue. Uh, really, he didn't say who won. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad and my little sister, Evelyn, who are all here tonight. Ahem. Without all of you... Miss Van Pelt. What? You're ruining my acceptance speech. But you didn't win. <laughs> Don't be silly. Of course I won. I got thousands of votes. Yes, but they were votes from people who don't go to Arcadia High School. You have been disqualified for cheating. But I won student of the year three years in a row. Yes, and we'll be checking to see if you cheated in those years as well. Now if you please. This is outrageous. I refuse to accept this. I... I... Evelyn, I... I'm sorry. Sorry about that, folks. The Arcadia High Student of the Year is Brie Bacaliri. 
I was glad I chose to do what's right. Thank you. It really did protect me. A little like armor. But I was also worried for Millie. Little did I know, being around Millie was about to get a whole lot crazier.